Hello, Scorpios. This is your uh, June 15th to the 30th, 2018 readings. I'm doing two parts. One, a general reading, five card spread, and a second one, a love reading, five card spread. And you know, this may not resonate with all Scorpios. So, general reading, Scorpio, June 15th to the 30th, 2018. General reading for Scorpio, June 15th to the 30th, 2018. And I, the other Scorpio that's waiting on a reading, I haven't forgotten yet. I just wanted to get these uh, generals and love readings out for every sign before the 15th or by the 15th. So Scorpio, general, Knight of Cups, you're not exactly in the well best, or should I say the best of moods, because you're in reverse. I, I believe this is your energy. May not, but I believe it is. It's in reverse. So maybe you're just feeling a little put out. Let's find out what's going on in the past. Three of Swords. Three of Swords in the past, you were probably involved in a third party situation. The Three of Swords is a heartbreak. A heartbreaking situation. Maybe you have to decide. Maybe you're un undecided in the past. Or maybe something got in the way. Three of Swords. Oops. Could be with a earth sign, queen of disc, Taurus, um, Capricorn, Virgo. It's in reverse, so you are in a third party situation in the past. Now, I know this is a general reading. We still got the love reading to do, but sometimes they're both love, and sometimes neither one of them are, for, no matter what. But the obstacle for Scorpio. The obstacle for Scorpio. Uh, two of uh, Pentacles. That's like someone juggling. We had that the last time, didn't we? It's an obstacle. You may be making a uh, change. And you may just stop one thing and, and just concentrate on one thing in your life only. It's an obstacle. You're having trouble with it. Two of Pentacles. Why are you the obstacle? Why are you in reverse? Maybe an offer. You maybe you're feeling stuck about making an offer. This Ace of Discs is a slow. It's a slow energy. And when it's in the upright like that, it's someone wanting to make an offer, but they may not be able to. Or that's the obstacle. It's getting in, something's getting in the way. Could be the third party. The current environment, current environment or the subject at hand, death card, something's going to end or something's about to end or you're feeling like something should end. Interesting. Give me another card for the death card. Another decision-making card. Decision-making card is a two of wands. Someone's got, let me put this down for a second, someone's got two things in their hands. One is a preferred preferred thing they want to do, and the other one is is not. But they're having still trouble making a decision. But they have to make, they got to they gotta make that decision. They got to take domination. And it may, they may very well do so. What is coming towards you, what other people are thinking. Outside environment. Scorpio. Coming towards you, someone's going to rest. Four of swords. Someone's um, not moving forward or taking a break. Someone's thinking about taking a break. Let me get another card for that. That doesn't tell us much, but that's what the meaning of it is, is resting, taking a break, not moving forward. Just zoning out. There's not much success in that. The success card is in reverse. So what is coming towards you? Someone's not having a success. Or they're thinking that about you and taking a break. 
resting, recuperating possibly. Sometimes, you know, it could be someone in the family is not feeling well. Outcome. Happiness in the end. You get happiness. Scorpio, you got the sun card. It's in the upright. So even though you're, something is ending, you're, you're looking forward to something. And it's going to happen. This is a general reading. Remember, I haven't done the love reading. And finances is going to be involved. A little bit of heartbreak. Choices are going to be made. I'm summing it up. One more card for the sun card. Sun card. Shouldn't rock the boat, should I? Well, I'm doing it anyway. The sun card. Why are you there for Scorpio? Good have to do with this Queen of Wands. Someone who is attractive, a lot of energy, got a good personality, and you're going to enjoy celebration with them. And you got the happily ever after card. Whoa, that almost sounds like the relationship myself. I don't see any super love cards, but I see a lot of happiness in the end, even though something ends. Okay, let me move these up. If I get a little quiet, it's because I'm thinking. It, it goes with the territory. It's like the, I'm getting a message or something, and i got to listen to it or try to. Um, I need a love reading for Scorpio, five card spread, June 15th through the 30th, 2018. Scorpio, love reading, five card spread. Remember, this may not resonate with all Scorpios, these readings. They're for who they are intended for. Love reading, Scorpio, June 15th through the 30th, 2018. Let's do this. Let's see something. I always use these cards for these readings now, and I know I'm going to need some more. Two of Swords, someone is no longer feeling like they can't make a decision. The Two of Swords is when somebody, when it's in the upright, because this is not in the upright, but when it's in the upright, they got they got a, their blockers on, they got a blindfold on, refusing to see the truth. Now they're seeing things as they are. Past. Three of Pentacles, in reverse, someone is no longer uh, collaborating in the past. They're not wanting to work things out with you. They're, they're kind of uh, putting a stalling, they're stalling in some way, sort of like the hangman. But this is more, again, with more than one person. So there's no collaboration, no get together. In the past, it's like somebody isn't uh, conforming with you, trying to work with you. Okay, I need a, uh, another card for the Three of Pentacles in reverse in the past. I need some clarification. Someone maybe uh, in the past felt betrayed. We're getting over it. Because it's in reverse. It's the Ten of Swords. So maybe that's why someone's not working with somebody. Because maybe they felt a little betrayed in the past. And they're getting over, they got a, they're a little getting over it a little bit, even though it's still in the past. Um, it's a past, like I said. Obstacle. You would think that's the obstacle, but it's not. The obstacle. For Scorpio and in, in love. King of Pentacles in reverse. This could be an Earth sign. They could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They're in reverse. The obstacle is this King of Pentacles may be causing you some type of trouble. Maybe they're just not feeling stable in some way. You could have to do finances, stability, anything. They're just not feeling, you know, 100%. King of Pentacles, why are you in reverse? Why are you the obstacle? Because they're unable to carry the weight. They can't do something by themselves. They may be dropping. Because they got it's the Two of Pentacles, and it's in reverse. So they're unable to carry the situation. Usually someone is juggling. They're trying to, to make balance and, and keep things going. But it looks like they may not be able to do that because it's in reverse. And so is the King of Pentacles in reverse. Current environment, what's going on right now? 
or the subject in hand, I should say, also, as I seem to forget sometimes. But the current environment for Scorpio, June 15th to the 30th, 2018 love, Scorpio. No more give and take. You're not wanting to give and take. It's in reverse, the Five of Pentacles. No, Six of Pentacles, sorry. I'm backwards. Usually it's a give and take, it's balance. It's it's with, you know, you know, you give a little bit here, give a little bit there, but it's not like you're able to give like that anymore. Um, five, I mean, Six of Pentacles, I gotta get this right. Six of Pentacles, why are you in reverse? Cards just don't want to shuffle today. No longer willing to battle with something. You're not being self-defensive. It's like you're not even going to argue about it. You're not giving no give and take, and you're not going to get defensive. You're not going to say anything, or maybe that's someone with you. Outside environment, where someone is also could be thinking about you. It could be also what's coming towards you. little bit of a burden but you're still going to get like some kind of happiness because you got the ten of cups again you had it as, as the overall ending energy over there ten of cups again still under a burden a burden is still coming to towards you but so is happiness outcome for Scorpio outcome for Scorpio for love reading June 15th to the 30th Scorpio Yep, things are going to move forward pretty quickly. Chariot. I mean, it's kind of radically, too. It's not always a fun card. I like the Chariot because it is moving forward, but it's not always as straightforward. It's kind of erratic, confusing, chaotic. And the third, the Three of Swords, which was over here, in the future will be over for, uh, for Scorpio. So moving forward away from possibly the third party situation. One more card. Let's rock the boat here. The end of a contract, family situation, possibly end of a you know, relationship. Like I said, you had that th three of swords in reverse. So you're moving forward, but at the same time, you're not going to carry on this third party. You're not going to, um, something's going to happen that, there's just not going to be another person. Nine of Swords, someone's at the raw energy. There is some tears. There is some a uh, little bit of suffering there. This is like what they call a nightmare situation. If someone see it, someone's jumping up in bed and and they got their ha their hands in their head. So there's going to be some sorrow, but someone is moving on to some happiness. And that is your reading, Scorpio. And I will talk to you later. Bye.